My dear brothers, peace and all good to you. Today we celebrate a fantastic day, an important day for our lives and the life of the church. Five years since the publication of Laudato Si, the very words that St. Francis used in his great song. And so what, but at the same time, we, we can't just start with Laudato Si. Perhaps we need to start with where we are today, with the experience of living in these uncertain, troubling times. Times of fear, times when the human community wants to close in on itself, each small community, the time of this coronavirus. This is not a time for us to close in. Now, Dr. C invites us not to close in upon ourselves. It encourages us to reach out, to open our arms, to embrace others. It invites us to recognize that all of us are connected. The cry of the poor is our cry. The cry of the human, of the planet is our cry. We're all interconnected. This is something which St. Francis himself came to understand and St. Bonaventure came to draw out in his theology of creation. And so brothers, as we celebrate this great event of five years, <coughs> let us open our hearts and minds to a revolution, not a revolution of that, that's political in a sense, a revolution that is spiritual, a conversion of mind and heart that will draw us ever closer to the reality of life that our poor brothers and sisters, the excluded, are living, and that will draw us to the suffering of creation of the environment, the creation which is also called to offer its praise to God, as the psalmist tell us. So brothers, as we celebrate, as we prepare to reflect together on Laudato Si during the coming months, let us recommit ourselves to this way of conversion, the same conversion that St. Francis invited us to, so that we might sing together Laudato Si, embrace the leper not only in the human person, but also in creation. May God bless all of you, and may all of us enter into this new revolutionary idea of conversion.